In this video, I'll show you how you can use uh, Azure DevOps, SAP CPI, and the VGov tool to simplify your processes. So the work normally starts with you create a new work item or an issue. Something new. And you press save. Now you know you need to fix something to make this work. So the first thing is we go to our repository and here we can create a branch based on our master that we can then use to uh, fix something new. And we will then assign it to our task here. That means they will be linked together. Now we will go to our Git repository and the FreeGap tool is able to maintain a Git repository. And now we have it and we will Select this, fix something new, check out. And now we can do changes in this specific thing. And uh, here we can see we have all the iFlows in our specific package. We can go in and we can make changes at a specific point in time. I think there's some values that's not that important uh, for our processing. We will just make a change here in the metadata description so this will be new fix something new that means that this iflow should be deployed in our landscape and to do that we can then commit it it knows which which iflow uh, new is, is being done and we can then commit this change so now and then we need to push this uh, changes to our repository Otherwise, it's not much fun up here. Now, in our repository, we should then be able to see that this is one step ahead. We can create a create a new pull request. This is what which work item it's supposed to be doing. Who we'll needs to do review of it? This is all good. We can see if there's any merge conflicts. This is all good. We can then approve it and we can complete it and this will then merge it back into the master branch and obviously this branching and everything like that is something you would need to figure out what works best in your scenario so now we have a change and what we have done here so this is uh, this one and we see it's only these two files that has been changed if we look at the pipelines then we can see this Per, uh, number 20 has been created and I think normally this runs for like 20 seconds um, before it is completed and in this package we will then have the the iFlow that has been changed um, compared to the master and then this is uh, the part we can actually use for process these things things so now the pipeline has run we have created a package of our specific iflow we can select this one we can go here and we can release it and then this will take and we can select where we want to deploy this automatically triggers to deployment what are the artifacts that's a part of this um, this flow and we can then start the, the pipeline that means we will go to our releases and in our releases, we can then see that this process has started. Um, and here we can see it will start up a, a new image of the deploy server and it will take a little while. So in the meantime, I will just show what it looks like on the other ones. So on 32 here, we also have the same uh, flow. We can see here we have run the full run here. And what this is doing, it is using our Gradle plugins to connect with the CPI system, take the iFlows that we have. So we can see it has extracted the, the iFlow here we changed. It has then started to do deployment on it, on our uh, new system. And then it has started, uh, waited until the iFlow has been started. Then we are running a test case with the FIGAF tool to see if, anything has been broken or everything works as it is expected and we're getting a result back that is okay and that means everything works so the main idea we have been doing here and what you can then do is 
you can go and edit uh, edit the pipeline and you can see what kind of flows is a part of this um, and you can see what are the commands so we just run a command that with the full flow uh, with these Gradle plugins making it a lot simpler to run the specific commands that we need as a part of this and yeah this would obviously take a little while for it for deploying and running everything um, and once you have done it you will then be able to to see the, the relevant data from it it does give a, a good idea about your progress and then obviously if you go back to the board you can then see for each work item uh, recently completed so we can see this fixed something new it has all the different uh, changes to it. it should also have the release uh, information once it has been deployed and it, we can see this was then been set as done and delivered this makes it a little easier to to manage the flow we do still see a lot of advantages also to have the pick up tool as a part of this like uh, understanding precisely what was changed in these uh, changes being able to run and apply configurations on top of the the iflows and stuff like that so we think that the, the figure up tool is also useful in this process but obviously you can also just use the the open source gradle plugins that we have i've uh, created a blog that tells a lot more about these things and you can find it in the link uh, in the description